a former analyst for J.P. Morgan received a $35 million settlement nearly 10 years after her brain was injured by a glass door that shattered on her head at an office building in New York City. On February 2, 2015, 36-year-old Megan Brown was leaving 271 Madison Avenue when she sustained the traumatic brain injury. The moment the seven-and-a-half-foot door broke and sent shards of glass pouring down was captured on dramatic video. Brown told the court that her career in banking was over and that her love life suffered as a result of her permanent severe disabilities. In addition to her sensitivity to light and noise, migraines, vertigo, and PTSD, doctors have also warned her that she is likely to acquire early-onset dementia. She testified in court. I remember there were women who were picking glass shards out of my head, my hair. I do recall seeing glass everywhere. In the lobby, right next to me, everywhere, I saw it all. After being made to take a year off work, Brown finally went back to work for J.P. Morgan. Nevertheless, her career steadily degraded, and in 2021, she was let go for performance reasons. My recovery from the accident was just stagnant. I was unable to get better, Brown continued. It simply kept breaking down all the time. I was always there, no matter what. It's awkward, too. I simply couldn't believe that this was the new me. I just continued trying because I was unable to accept it. Brown needed a service dog, which is no longer with her, to assist her in her day-to-day -day activities. According to what Brown told the court, she was also engaged until her fiancé ended things because he realized he couldn't have a normal life with her. Every aspect of her life is impacted by her brain injuries. Brown's attorney continued. After a jury concluded that the trauma could have been avoided if the building owner of 271 Madison had performed the necessary inspections, she was given the money. Brown's attorney was successful in proving that the door had a crack that might have been fixed with regular upkeep. She also mentioned how one of the door's glass panels had broken in 2010 and 2014. Among the other commercial tenants in the building these days are an estate planner, a dentist, and an audiologist. Brown was leaving a physical therapy session on the day she was hurt when she accidentally pushed the door at the same moment as someone else. Before she was taken to the hospital, a number of bystanders helped her when the glass broke over her head. She said in court that, There was blood on the snow, like lots of blood. I recall thinking that it felt almost like I was staring down or hovering. I questioned, Where is this blood coming from? Since I had no idea where the blood was coming from. According to the ruling, Brown has since received years of medical care from Neurologists, psychologists, ENTs, pain medicine physicians, neuropsychologists, psychiatrists, visual therapists, and vestibular therapists to aid in her recovery. Attorney Thomas Sofield, representing defendant 271 Madison Company, contended that the tempered glass broke into multiple little pieces rather than a single huge sheet, exactly as intended, and that there was no proof of a breach in the door. Additionally, he retorted that Brown had simply needed treatment for a cut on her hand and had not experienced any brain damage. Nonetheless, the jury determined that the defendant was careless and that this carelessness had a significant role in Brown's disabilities. Brown was given $1,750,000 as compensation for her prior suffering and diminished quality of life. In addition to receiving $13,429,208 for future medical and therapy costs, prescription drugs, and home health care, she was also awarded $20 million for future pain and suffering and loss of enjoyment of life.